the super moon. The biggest and brightest, fullest moon of the year. It happens tomorrow night. They call it a super moon, but don't expect any spike in crime or huge high tides because of it. WFMZ's Catherine Hawley explains. Saturday night, the largest full moon of the year will appear in the sky. Our celestial neighbor will be about 14% bigger and 30% brighter than other full moons. But that's not what earned it the title of supermoon. It's called a supermoon when within 12 hours of, of the moon becoming full, either before or after, it's also at its closest approach at perigee. Let me make that clearer. The moon orbits the Earth in an oval shape once each month. And each month, it reaches a point closest to the Earth called perigee. At 11.35 Saturday night, the moon will be at its closest, about 222,000 miles away, and it will also be full. That combination makes this a supermoon. For it to happen like this, where it becomes full and it's at its closest to the Earth, about one minute apart, is extremely rare. So this is a really exciting time for astronomers. So you could actually call this an extreme supermoon. Something we're probably not going to see again in our lifetime. The best time to see the moon's superness is when the orb is along the horizon, after rising and just before setting. Viewing the moon behind buildings and trees creates an optical illusion, so it actually appears larger. Kind of like the way it looks like I'm holding the moon in my hand right now, even though it's the same size. For sky watchers, Cinco de Mayo will also be a party in the sky. The supermoon coincides with the peak of the Aquarid meteor shower. While you're checking out the huge moon, you should also be able to see 50 to 60 meteors per hour. The Earth is essentially going to be passing through the orbit of Halley's Comet. The moon won't be as big and bright as this week's moon for another two years, so get outside and enjoy it. Catherine Hawley, 69 News.